there's a lot of people that go through it and have survived it and I'm one of those people so I would just say don't don't ever give up if you're passionate about something just do it start today start right now there, you're just missing missing out on time to get to that end result I'm Chris, creative director of From Hell With Love. I do all the screen printing, sewing, everything myself for my line. I ship pieces around the world. I, I build my own website. I do everything you see online myself. I do custom sewing pieces, uh, pants, jackets, screen printing, uh, everything. So I overdosed about three years ago and uh, I didn't know how to be happy in this life and I got another chance to live. So I, I had to ask myself, what, what do I want to do to be happy in this world? And the biggest thing for me was to make my own clothing. And that's just something I never did my whole life. So I, I got this last chance to live and I just been grinding nonstop, you know, always making stuff for myself. And it kind of just started to pick up and other people liked it and now I have little pieces of me shipped all around the world. I've been doing it for about five years now. I've only been online for about two. And my wife kind of pushed me to branch out and kind of showcase what I create online because it's all, it's all one of a kind and people really like my stuff, but I never really thought society would take a liking to it. But a lot of people do like my stuff. So now I'm trying to have pieces available to people t-shirts, you know, simple hoodie designs and still do my cut and sew stuff. The brand name came about just having that second chance to live. It was like I, I was in hell all those years in my addiction. And now that I am clean and sober, I don't drink, I don't smoke, I don't do anything. To me, it, it sounds good. It goes hand in hand and all my, cre all my pieces are created out of love. And that's just kind of how it all came about. It's always been just a dream of mine to make clothing. I, I, it was like I could never put the pen to paper while I was drinking and using drugs. And once I put all that down, it was kind of like the world opened up to me and I can choose to live life how I want to without having to put drugs in my body or drink. And now you know, I, I am focused. I have things in my life I'm passionate about, like making clothes, riding motorcycles. I, I didn't have anything when I was using. I was you know, dying in the street practically. And now I, I make clothing every single day. They're, either I'm working on a website or making designs on my laptop or hand stitching. It's, it's been every day and it, it just gives me so much joy. I, I don't go home and turn on a television or, you know, waste any time like that. It's just, this has just been nonstop for me and it, it fulfills me. I feel really good doing it. My biggest influence would be Jimmy Webb. He was a stylist out in New York, punk rock legend. He styled everybody from Blondie to uh, Iggy Pop. You know, his, his clothes were just renowned by rock legends. And I, I take a lot of influence from him. Also, Alexander McQueen, his, uh, his shows were just phenomenal. You know, I, I, just, I still watch his shows today uh, online. And there's a lot of people I've seen on Instagram, Villa Jumps Borders, Battle Jacket Bill. All these new age kids are just coming up with a new way to create clothing and it's, it just blows my mind. I, we're building our own little community of you know, people like us and it, it just feels good to be a part of that. Everything that I'm wearing right now would be my, my favorite piece. I got this jacket in uh, South Dakota. I go to Sturgis Motorcycle Rally every year and I got this jacket. I didn't have a motorcycle at the time. I was on foot and then uh, I came back next year on a bike and it kind of just, I add little by little to it and it's kind of grown with me as my brand has grown. So I also used to use in this jacket so it kind of, it's, it, it means a lot to me. It's, it's like a part of who I am as a person and it's constantly evolving and growing as I am. And the pants too, I mean, I just, I spent a lot of time making these pants. 
printing my own patches. These are all hand stitched with dental floss. I just, I love to sew. I did a suicide prevention print that was kind of like a, a wearable piece. It was a t-shirt and it had a saying on the back, you could talk to me if you're having issues, you know, mental instability or anything like that. Pretty much, if you wear this shirt, you're letting society know, I'm available for you to talk to me about your problems. And so many people love that print and that concept. And it's, you know, I still get messages all the time, when are you gonna bring it back? I really, I wanna keep that something that's available forever for people. So I'm trying to just keep building off the artwork I originally did and just make it better and better and just keep that because people really love that and I think suicide prevention and awareness is just it's a big thing to talk about in society and you know more of us need to come together for that and you know people hide away from it and people have told me that while they're wearing the shirt they uh they've been approached and they've been talked to and I've had people talk to me about their problems and you know, you, you're just bringing people together saying, you know, I'm here, I care, you are loved. I'm, I'm married now, I have a son, I'm sober. I have the ability to create clothing that touches people's hearts. And I was just, you know, nothing in the gutter. And through my passion of making clothing, it's evolved and I, I've been able to connect with people on like a loving plane. There's a lot of people that go through it and have survived it, and I'm one of those people. So I would just say don't, don't ever give up. If you're passionate about something, just do it. Start today. Start right now. You're, you're just missing, missing out on time to get to that end result. And, yeah, that, that's all I got on that one.